so it says installation complete and now it says install succeeded so uh, Mac OS X was installed to your Macintosh hard drive blah blah and my computer is about to restart on its own alright so now you can see it's restarting and uh, I have the black screen it's going to open back up and let's see the boot up alright so so far everything's the same but we know that will change Alright, so now you're greeted with this brand new file vault. Alright, so you can see uh, it's got a whole new layout. You can type in your password there. That's a weird picture of me. You can uh, put your computer to sleep, restart it, or shut down. Now you have your battery and what time it is, and if you're on Wi-Fi. So let me go ahead and type in my password. And you just click enter or click that little arrow and it'll come in. And in case you were wondering, that whole install process, is, process took about 30 minutes. So uh, just be ready. It'll probably go faster on your computer if you have more RAM. So you see that cool new little transition to your desktop? So I did a, just a install and update. I didn't do a fresh install where I delete everything on my computer. So you see my logo and my icons appeared. So uh, let's wait for the dock to load up. It's taken a while. Alright, so uh, let's see what this is. Setup Assistant. Oh, so it's going to give me a little assistant. Oh, that's cool. It's got my name right there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but my name is at the top right. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I might want to get rid of that. Alright, so let's click on this little Setup Assistant. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Okay, so it marks me to type in my FaceTime password, so I'll just kind of move the camera up, don't want you to see that, and I'll log in. Oh, okay, so it has a whole new, uh, like, how to use lion type thing, so uh, to scroll, use the two finger gesture. Oh, not liking this, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Alright, so now scrolling is reversed, so you actually scroll up to go down, and you scroll down to go up. Uh, I'm not liking that. I might have to change that setting. Alright, so uh, you can, let's see what this means. You can pinch, I'm not sure. Alright, so start using Mac OS, OS X line. Alright, so uh, let's do Launchpad, see what Launchpad's like. Alright, so if you don't know how to use Launchpad, you just use three fingers on the trackpad. Just take your three fingers and go up. And you can see you have a whole new uh, screen. And it shows all your applications running. You have you can go to Dashboard for your widgets that nobody ever uses. You, have, uh, you can add different sorts of desktops. If you want to add a new desktop, just go to the right and click there. And uh, you'll add a new desktop. And in these desktops, you can add new backgrounds. It's like a whole new mm, computer, uh, sort of like spaces maybe, depends on how you look at it. And to delete that, you just hover over it and click that X. Alright, so uh, let's show you that with a couple applications running. I'll start Google Chrome, Spotify. Yeah, we'll just do that. stick with those two and Finder. Alright, so let those open up. And uh, while we're waiting on that, I'll point you, I'll show you, you have an actual icon to start up Mission Control. You can just click that iPod, icon, not iPod, and Mission Control will show. And you can see uh, you have your dashboard and your desktop, and then you see Google Chrome, Spotify, and uh, Finder. So uh, it's pretty cool, it's a nice layout, and uh, I like it right now. So uh, you can see right here they have a new little look to the icons. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. There's a new little look to them. You can minimize everything. Exit out of Finder. Quit Google Chrome. Google Chrome's being stupid right now. Alright. And, uh, let's see. So, my first impression of this, it looks pretty nice. You know, some applications are giving me some problems, but you can't expect that with a new update.
and a launch pad. You can click on it. Alright, now this is cool. This is like very familiar to most of you if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch. And this is like all my applications that I've downloaded. You can use two fingers to scroll. Oh, that's very nice. So you can see right here I have my games that I've downloaded. Oh yes, I like this a lot. You can see Microsoft Word and I have another little folder. Oh, with all the Microsoft different stuff. That's cool. And so you can just click on one and drag it. And I can hover it on top of one and create a new folder. Then I can rename it to whatever I want. So let's say I name it Word. Alright. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use this because I can always just, uh, let's see, let's close it. And I can always just go to my applications and have it all there. But that's nice to have. Uh, expect more videos to come with Line. My first impression, I'm loving it. I'm going to have to fix that too, that uh, scroll up to go down thing. I'm not loving that. But other than that, I think it's pretty solid and I uh, can't wait to find out more of the 250 new features.